Number 18. Determine the oxidation states of the elements in the compounds listed, and none of the oxygen-containing compounds are peroxides or superoxides. Okay, and then we have letter C out of the bunch, BROH. Okay, so bromium hydroxide. So let's just write it over here. BR, oh, that was an ugly B. BROH. So we need to find the oxidation states or the charges, they mean exactly the same thing, right, of each individual element. So I need to find it out for bromium, uh, oxygen, and hydrogen. Okay. So first things first is that you should memorize your oxidation state trend um, for uh, the, you know, on the periodic table. So if you guys want a full rundown of why these charges exist like this, you could always check out number 16A in the playlist. The, the button will be at the end of this video, uh, leading you to the playlist if you guys are, are not already on it. Um, but what, what we can do is we just, you know, keep going, right? So the first thing here is, is that I know or I notice that there's an OH here, right? And we've done tons of problems and we've memorized our polyatomics. Did you guys memorize your polyatomics? I, I said that you weren't going to, basically they were going to come back. They were going to come back and haunt you, right? OH is a polyatomic. OH is hydroxide. What is the charge of hydroxide, right? Oh, it's, it's always, always a minus one, right? A negative one. This is hydroxide. So what I can do is I can treat this OH as a single unit, all right? Now, what I'm going to do is remember before we had charges up above, right? So like plus X was a plus one or Y was a negative two. When you had your two atoms, right? And you crisscross these down, to get one and two, and that was your compound. So what we're going to do now is since we already have the compound, we can crisscross back up. Br, bromium, right? There was only one of these, right? And for hydroxide, there was only one hydroxide. Those Maybe just make these a little bigger. One and one. Those were the subscripts that were crisscrossed down. So let's crisscross them back up to find out what they are. This one really came from hydroxide, telling me that it was a min minus one. And we knew that, right? This one crisscrossed back up to tell me that bromium was a plus one. So let's write down what we have so far. Bromium was a plus one. One. Do I keep saying bromium? <laughs> Bromine. I don't know why I keep saying bromium. Ugh. Too many ums in the periodic table. Plus, I am feeling a little bit out of the weather. But, uh, so bromine has a plus one charge, and the hydroxide as a whole is a negative one, right? So we, we answered one piece to the puzzle. We know that uh, bro, bromium now is just in my head. Bromine, BR, is a uh, plus one charge. Now, just keep in mind that, you know, bromine is here. However, because of the trend, it should be a negative one. But remember, elements that are in the front are positives. So in this case, it turns out that, yeah, bromine should have had a negative one charge, right? But not all the time. In this case, bromine was a plus one charge. Now we just got to figure out what the oxygen and the hydrogen is, right? Now they gave us a little tip here. They said none of the oxygen containing compounds are peroxides or superoxides. So that means that oxygen will have its trend charge. It will have a negative two charge. When your oxygens are peroxides or superoxides, then they won't have the negative two. But in this case, 
your oxygen will follow the trend. So by that information, we know that the oxygen has to be a negative two charge. So I found two pieces of the puzzle. And, you know, just know that a plus one, bromine being a plus one, means that it lost one electron. And oxygen being a negative two means that it gained two electrons. But these are the charges. That's what you're really looking for. Now, can you tell me what the hydrogen is going to be, right? Well, remember that if one of them is negative, right, the other one has to be positive. And look here, hydrogen is in group one, so oh, it wants to be a plus one. Now, does that make sense? The collection of this, the addition of O plus H, has to equal a negative one. Negative two from the oxygen plus one equals a minus one. So that checks out. So we know that the hydrogen is a plus one oxidation state or, you know, plus one charge, which means that that one lost one electron as well. And look, the whole thing is neutral. If bromine and hydrogen both lost one electron, right? Well, where did it lose it to? Oh, it, it lost it to the oxygen. The oxygen gained those two electrons to make the whole compound neutral. So that's it, guys. What do you think? So, so this is the answer. And there you go. Simple as that. Just be careful of the ones that, you know, don't follow the trend. But they'll, you know, they'll show you that they don't follow the trend in little itty bitty ways. In this case, since bromine was the first one, it had to have been a positive. All right. It didn't follow its negative one trend. All right. So hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments what you think. Give this video a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel. And remember, uh, it is not bromium. It is bromine. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'll see you guys in the next lesson. Bye-bye.